my watch today. One of the many Invictas I have. This one is unique, though, in a lot of different ways. So let's get into it. See how high it's off my wrist? Though on either side, left and right, it fits right at the edge of my, um, the curvature of my arm. So it fits really good. See that? It fits awesome. This is a 47 millimeter um, watch. But see how high it is? Normally, high watches like this, they move and shake. It's kind of light. Uh, it is an automatic movement of the Seiko NH35A. This is a rubber strap. 24 millimeter I normally wouldn't do a rubber strap I dislike Invicta's rubber straps this one is a super soft not just rubber but more like a silicone silicon uh, hopefully it lasts longer I've had this watch maybe for about three four years and it's done fairly well the embossment Invicta there is a you can feel it. It's textured embossment. So it could scratch off. And I was going to say, although it's really high off my wrist, it doesn't shake around. It's light. And it makes for a killer dive watch. Think about where if you're diving and you have those on the edge. Um, you could see it. You wouldn't have to tip it over, right? And when you do tip it over, look at the... Um, the markers in there they're like so high and that's because of the 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 height excuse me of the um the watch on the outside that allows it to have a lot of depth in the inside so there's like three layers to this where you see the invicta diver man down there that's the first layer of just a basic plastic looking thing and then you have a second layer where you see the second the um, markers and they're high and when I shine light on it they just the luminescent of it is just incredible for a $79 watch maybe I don't know it was under 100 bucks um, but look at the how the second hand which is coming across the date of 12 right there um, how it sweeps these Seiko movements are like 35 bucks on Amazon. Just the movement alone, you could buy it. And uh, they're putting almost anything, even replica like Rolexes and stuff, because it sweeps pretty well. Hardly a tick in the sweep. This has the uh, coin edge dial, which I really like the coin sharp coin edge dial of watches. Really thick. Um... Uh, the numeration on the outer dial, you see how the 15, the 30, and the 45 there, it's just you have a lot of um, real estate as a circle. Pretty cool. Let me take it off and give you a different view here. So let me take this thing off here. So it does, like I said, it feels more like a silicone than a rubber, rubber silicone type of feeling. But what's neat is, look, it says Grand Diver. Again, it's an embossment, so it could scratch off if it was actually, this watch was actually heavy used. And look on the uh, cabochon there. Uh, looks like another Invicta Man. But the yellow, Inv I'm not into yellow, but Invicta yellow is pretty cool. They have a cool looking yellow. And you can see in there the movement. Again with the on the rotor there, the NH35 movement, um, the Invicta yellow. Let's see if it'll focus, probably not. Um, but uh, the crystal they use on this is on this one is a flame fusion. And with Invicta, boy, it's you got to spend a lot of money or get a specialized Invicta to get a really good sapphire crystal these last decades. Um, so basically, there's nothing there that says anything great other than Grand Diver Invicta. But it is a cool watch. It's very comfortable. I like the buckle. It's really nice. 
solid feeling. But the watch does feel solid for how inexpensive it is. And, uh, but you, you know, you'd be surprised. Same thing, yellow and black. It really makes, real bumblebee-ish, huh? Um, let me get my flashlight here. Huh, does that show up on there? There you go, a little better. I'm gonna put some probably real sunlight on it. This thing doesn't get out much. You can see it looks probably brand new still. There it goes. You see the luminescence. It's really nice, and uh, you'd be surprised what watches you end up uh, wearing. I have a lot of watches, and I've been wearing this one for about two days now. And um, caught my eye on my boxes of watches. <laughs> and I've been wearing it for the last couple of days. Uh, you guys enjoy yourself and enjoy your watches. And uh, have a good day.